Hello, hello. Okay, I survived my three-day weekend with my grandsons while their parents were off tending to business. I was sore, partly from walking and pushing the stroller uphill. The whole walk yesterday felt like the whole walk was uphill. Obviously, it wasn't. But I survived it all. Everybody's home and safe. And I'm back home and here to talk about brows. So if you don't know me, if you haven't followed me, my name is Karen Puckett. I'm an independent beauty guide with Lime Wife by Alcone. And I focus on um, skincare makeup for mature women. Um, you know, things change. I'm not a makeup artist, but I picked up on some tricks and tips that help with skincare and makeup for the aging woman, which I am. So, um, one thing I've, I've also learned in this pandemic situation that I can go way longer without washing my hair, but that my hair falls out continuously and it drives me crazy. So, I'm going to have to vacuum today. But anyway, brows, brows matter. So I've got a couple of different tools, but today we're focusing on the claim to frame brow pencils. So it is a brow pencil that you do not have to sharpen. It has a very tiny, if you can even see it, you can see I scroll, uh, twisted it up more than I actually need to on one end and the other end is a spoolie so you can brush through and tame them. That spoolie on one of our makeup brushes is, um, the brush is called the brow tamer because it has the spoolie on one end and then like an eyeliner type brush on the other. But here's the thing. Um, I use two different colors now. I had always used, well, I had used um, a gray until we came out with these, and then I switched to this after I finally consented to try it and loved it because the control is so awesome. Um, I now use the blonde as well because you should focus on getting this part darker than this part and as you can see, I have literally almost no brow hairs here. So a lot of what I'm doing is coloring in. So I use the dark there, and then I use the light right in here just to lighten it up just a little bit. Uh, so one thing as an aging woman that you really need to focus on is not making your brows arch so much and come way back down because that brings your face down. You want to lift. Everything you do, you should be thinking about lift. Pull up, pull out, or pull up. And then that way, um, you're not dragging everything down and making it look saggier, baggier, and aging. Um, so, here we go. So, here is what I do. I go in, I pick this up from a makeup artist. I go in and go backwards first. And that adds the pencil to the underneath side of the brow hairs. And then I will come back out this way. And I will go up just a little bit, just to add a little bit of arch. And you can come in and, and kind of do a little bit underneath there to make it more defined. I mean, here we are in this pandemic situation and nobody's gotten brows done in how long? And that's all I had. All right, so I'm just gonna brush through it. The other thing that I like to do is to kind of add a little tail to it. I just kind of take my fingers and just kind of pinch and pull and it just wipes off the tiniest little bit and it kind of pulls it to a point. But I can see that I need just a little bit more. Another thing that I've learned from the pros is that using two different formulas of products will help to 
give you more depth and fullness, which I desperately need. So I will sometimes I'm paying way more attention doing this with y'all than I do when I do it just as a rule. Um, okay, what was I saying? I forgot. Maybe it'll come back. Okay, so this is the lighter one. And I will actually, like, do little strokes that will mimic brow hairs. So I'm just giving myself more brow without it being extra dark. These two come in the blonde, or they may call it light. Medium, light, medium, and dark. But the, the light is what a, a blonde might use unless she wants very stark brows. Um, I think this is really as dark as I should ever go, but this is really not dark enough when I get out here um, because there's just nothing there. So there you have it. And then there's all sorts of rules about, you know, you want to stop it or start it, whichever you want to think of it, um, like the inside of your eye, right beside your nose, or what am I doing? Out like this, is that's where you want to stop it. Um, I don't really get into all that because I'm not going to draw on way more than what I've got. I will show you what I do with the gel. So it looks like a mascara. And it's just a teeny little brush. And so I just use kind of the same method. Just barely touch it. Just like when you're doing mascara and you barely hit those tips of your lashes. Okay, I think I hit it too hard then. And then bring it back through. And then I'll give you a little extra dimension and depth there and definition. And isn't that better than what I had before? Just almost nothing versus a little something. I'm still not going to have great voluminous brows that have to be tweezed to control them. Um, I've got a chicken pox scar in, in the mix here, too, and so that makes it a little difficult to fill in. But anyway, that's it. So I've used two different colors of this, but I used to use just the dark, and I could get away with that, very easily get away with that. Um, but I like to use the two. And then I do like to throw on the brow gels uh, as well. I can't use just the brow gel because there's nothing for it to stick to except skin. And then that doesn't really mimic eyebrow hairs. So there you have it. Tell me what your tricks are. I'd love to hear them because I'm always open, and open to learning something new because there may be something that you know that I don't know and I could just switch it all up and have even better brows. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Stay safe.